This is so powerful, it's scary. These lead scraping tools should probably be banned, but in the meantime, assuming you like money, I'll share them with you. These are by far the best lead scraping tools on planet Earth. And I say this as someone who's compared hundreds of lead scraping tools in the last 10 years, after scaling two agencies to a million a month in revenue, exiting multiple SaaS startups and growing companies featured in the Inc. 5000. So trust me, you'll wanna discover my top picks, at least if you're serious about getting more clients and growing your business this year. Let's show you some of the top scraping tools that can meet all your different needs, whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced. I don't wanna to get too technical in this video. I just wanna show you some key features of each one, show you how to kind of use it, etc and just give you all the tools in a super straightforward way. All right, let's talk about scraping local businesses. I wanna share some powerful web scraping tools designed specifically for local businesses. These are tools that can help you find leads in niche industries like med spas, car detailing, or any other local service. Let's go through these tools. The first one is the classic D7 lead finder. You basically put in your keyword search, your city, and hit fetch data, and it will just go out there and find the data for you. You want leads? Here's your local leads. Of course, with all this data, you're gonna use find email to verify, or you're gonna use a lead verification waterfall inside of Clay to make sure that you're not bouncing your emails, but this is a good starting place here. Another good tool for this is Leads Gorilla. You basically go in and you put in a Google Maps URL and it just scrapes leads for you. Then if you really wanna get into the yellow pages, well, Reune is a yellow page scraper that will go through and scrape yellow pages for you. So you can search by location, you can find the rank, company name, profile URL, address, phone number, email address, even ratings and reviews, whatever you need from yellow pages, Reune's the place to go get it. Then there's Lead Swift, which works similar to D7 Lead Finder, but is a little more AI powered. So you can just type in something like restaurants in New York and it will automatically search on Google. It'll search on Yelp. It'll search on Facebook. It'll search on Yellow Pages for you and then process that data. That way it's a little more clean and it'll find exactly what you need to do. Then you can also draft an email in here and send an email, but this isn't my email sending tool of choice. There's also Scraping B. And I like this because if you're scraping a ton of data, you might get banned. And so the easiest way to scrape a bunch of data without getting banned is to have proxies up in the cloud scraping the data. That way AWS is scraping the data for you or like Google's scraping the data for you so you don't have to worry about it. And Scraping B makes that really easy. You can set up a easy cloud scraping tool that will just run off your machine. It also lets you run 24 seven. That way, even if you close your laptop, you can keep scraping all night long. Sounds like Danny DeVito. Keep scraping all night long. It, does, it doesn't sound like Danny DeVito at all. Another good one is local scraper. You pick your scrape target, whatever you're going after, Home Advisor, Bing Maps, Yellow Pages. I like that this one has a lot of weird scraping targets. And then you put in your keyword, your location. You can have a custom URL if you want. And then you can even use proxies if you want to here. And it will just scrape for you. Very simple easy scraper that's been around for a very long time. Then there's Outscraper, and this is for accessing public information on the internet. Basically, if you wanna go out there and search Google Maps, you can use this. You can go through business directories. And this one I like because it has a ton of APIs. If you wanted to plug it into your clay or you wanted to plug it into any other software and automate a lot of this, then you could easily do that using these APIs. An API is just a software layer that allows software to talk to each other. Don't worry about what it is. If you don't know what it is, throw that idea away. Just use Leads Gorilla or something. But what if you need to scale things up, way up? Well, there's an interesting tool that most people don't know about. So let's review it. First one is called Casper. And this is for accurate European contact data. Some people have a hard time finding contact data specifically in Europe. And so Casper is a good way where you can go through using a Chrome extension and find the accurate contact data here. It also does some automated profile scraping for you, some prospecting for you, works pretty well. Next up is Find Email, which is what I personally use for email verification. And so basically what this allows you to do is you have a list of emails, it'll verify if they're real or not, it'll help you find emails if you just have a name and a website, and you can also plug this directly into Clay, which is what we use for a lot of our automations. A lot of people hate on this one these days, but I still like it a lot. Still know the founder, he's still good. Uplead is real-time verified B2B emails, mobile numbers, and intent data. It's basically a database like Apollo, but it costs more. 
and the data is better. Then you've got sales QL, which is something that will scrape your LinkedIn to find email addresses for your LinkedIn targets. It'll go through, you can see this video here, and it'll find the person, it'll find the email addresses. You can even find their personal emails here if that's a strategy that you wanna use and just go through the whole list like that. You can also find their phone numbers. Very easy tool for building leads using LinkedIn. Then there's Phantom Buster, which is a lead scraping tool that works on a ton of different platforms. You can see here they've built out LinkedIn, Google, HubSpot, Twitter, Instagram, Sales Nav. You can scrape leads, you can enrich data, you can engage with leads. This one probably needs an entire video in and of itself. What I was using it for on my Twitter account was to find people that didn't follow me anymore and to unfollow them. That's the most basic thing that it can do. You can also scrape Twitter accounts, find contact information, scrape Instagram followers, whatever you want. It's a hugely powerful tool. It's a little complicated, but once you get into it, you can really get a lot out of Phantom Buster. Then there's Snove, who recently sponsored a short on this channel. This is LinkedIn outreach and engagement on autopilot. You can go through and you can send LinkedIn messages. You can see the flows that they're setting up here where they're basically doing outreach on LinkedIn. You can also take it over to email. You can track various things as a CRM. A lot of cool stuff over in Snove as well. Then there's Lead Rocks, which is also a very, very cheap database of leads. If you're gonna use this, then I would use it in conjunction with another tool like Find Email. In fact, Leads Rocks is worth using only if you don't have an Apollo subscription. For Lead Database, I really like Apollo. This is a bunch of unlimited leads. Now, unlimited leads is cool, but they really add limits. This is like a lie, kind of. I would say it's a lie from Apollo saying you have unlimited email credits but they're not unlimited and they really make it so that you only have 24,000 exports credits a year. So I would actually say this is 24,000 leads and not unlimited, but you know, it is what it is. There's other tools and kind of gray hat ways you can scrape Apollo and get unlimited credits. And that is the stack that we recommend and how we would use Apollo. And speaking of leads, back in the day, there was a time when I felt like my dream clients were ghosting me and I was unsure how to follow up without sounding desperate. So I put my head down and I figured it out. I developed a client acquisition system that has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars and helped me close major deals with Tesla, Netflix, and HBO. I call this system the AB Mastermind. It's a simple method to fill your pipeline with high paying clients on autopilot. Right now, it's an absolute steal for its value, so I might increase the price soon. If you're curious, click the first link in the description below and apply now. Now let's talk about my favorite scraping tool, okay? I gave you too many. I gave you way too many, okay? I'll show you something insane here. My favorite right now is Octoparse. First of all, Octoparse lives on your desktop. It's a scraper, okay? Scraper meaning you can put in a list of things, a list of URLs, and it'll scrape them and it doesn't use any code and you can go through and you can click what pieces of a website you wanna scrape and you're good to go. What I also like about it is it's got all of these templates built in. I love the Google Maps email finder. I like the Google Maps scraper. Anything with local business, this just makes it so easy to use. And that's why I like Octoparse. It's different from anything else I use because it has that desktop app which saves a lot of time, reduces the manual work, and it just lives on your computer, so it's safe. It's not living out in the cloud, who knows what it's doing. And it's free, which I really, really like. You can pay for some credits if you want. Most of the time, you can get your lead list built for free. It also integrates with tools like Instantly, which reduces the manual work. But there's still a major problem. You now know how to scrape leads fast and efficiently, but that's not enough to truly grow your business. That's why in the next three seconds, I'll share another video on my channel where I show you how to effectively contact your leads and turn them into clients. Go ahead and check out that video now. I'll see you there.